And earlier today, I reviewed the following. 3A and Adventure Cartels, Peppermint, Grove, and man, oh man, is she awesome. She's a great addition to my Adventure Cartel collection. Now, she's not the only figure in Adventure Cartel that is based on a flavor. I mean, Peppermint is a really good flavor, right? But what about Cherry? Because today's review will be on the following. Today's review will be on the 3A, or actually the 3AA, yeah, 3A Anonymous, because I know I'm addicted to these things, Adventure Cartel, Cherry Bomb, yep, the alter ego of Little Shadow, and man oh man is she awesome. Now this figure is just a variant of Little Shadow with red hair and red outfit and blah blah blah, not dirty at all. Just like the uh, Peppermint Grove figure I just reviewed, this figure will have no dirt or grime on them. And you know what? That is awesome. Now, the back of the box just has this plaid, you know, motif or whatever, and it has her name down the side, and that's about it. It's got the Adventure Cartel logo there. Absolutely nothing down this side right here, except for the 3AA logo. Down the other side of the box, the painting continues, and it also has the 3AA logo right there at the bottom. And the top of the box just has the Robot Island logo, and that is awesome. Now, I got this figure, I think, November of last year, maybe December, I can't remember. I've had this thing sitting here forever. But because I didn't get her in a shipper box, I was able to open it and look at her and stuff like that. Now, I didn't pull her out, I just kind of looked at her. So I haven't actually played with the figure at all yet, and that's what this review is going to be for. So yeah, she looks very cool, and I can't wait to show her to you, so I say we open it! So, here's the box with the lid removed, and check her out, she looks Awesome! Now, like I said, this is just a painted variant of Little Shadow, and from what I hear, this is her alter ego. Now, I don't know if this is her in the real world or what. I, I, I have no clue, and, you know, Ashley Wood doesn't really write full stories that I can find, so, yeah, I'm assuming this is just her alter ego, kind of like, you know, Clark Kent is Superman's alter ego. Now, if you look behind her, you will see that there's a poster back there, and that is awesome. Down here at the bottom, you can see she has a little fist, her little skull boom, and then there's her little bag, and that is very cool indeed. So I say we pull her out and check out that poster. What do you say? Now, on one side of the poster, you've got that truly awesome Ashley Wood painting of Cherry Bomb from the box cover, and that is very cool indeed. Now, this poster is just as big as all the others they include, 24 by 17, and if you flip it over, it gets even better. Now, on the opposite side, you get a really awesome Ashley Wood comic strip, and it starts with Rahel, and Tommy Mission goes to him and asks him, Hey! Have you seen Little Shadow? And after they discuss it a little bit over here, you find out that he tells him, hey, if you find Cherry Shadow or Cherry Bomb, you will find Little Shadow because it seems they are one and the same, and that is cool. And honestly, I would have read you the comic, but that one's got a little bit more language in it than uh, usual, and uh, there would be a lot of beep, anyways, beep, and uh, you beep, and you, so I didn't want to do that. But you know what? I love it. And uh, yeah, back to the review. Let's go. Now, since we've looked at the box and we've looked at the posters, I say it's time we check out Cherry Bomb herself because I can't resist a leggy redhead, so I say we open her up. What do you say? So, here's Cherry Bomb, freshly removed from the package, and man, oh man, does she look awesome. Now, like I said, I've had this figure for months, and it's about time I finally got to open her, man. I got to sneak a peek and stuff inside of the box, but it is so cool to finally see her standing up. Now, as you can see, she's got these little uh, sandal shoes right here, looking very cool indeed, and I love her socks. That is awesome. I can't believe those things stay up, too, man. That's really cool. She's got a short little mini skirt right there. Thankfully, not as short as Pepper mint groves she's got two little gloves there on her hands and then up here you can see her hair and her little mascara running down her eye that is awesome now like i said this is just a variant of little shadow uh this is the original i think little shadow head or maybe the second version of her i can't remember which but uh she usually has black hair or whatever but this is very very cool indeed so i say we flip her around and check her out from behind what do you say
So, here she is from behind. Now, this figure, compared to a lot of the others, is very, very plain. I mean, there's not a whole lot to see here. Uh, she just looks cool, and she'll fit in really good with the collection. But yeah, there's not a whole lot to see. And as you can see, she doesn't have any, like, battle damage or dirty spots or anything like that. So that is cool. So let's flip her back around, shall we? So, here's Cherry Bomb from the front one more time. Now, you're probably saying, hey... What did she come with? Well, she came with this really awesome bag here. Just like Little Shadow, but this one is very, very white and clean. And man, oh man, this is probably the cleanest 3A Adventure Cartel piece that I have. I mean, jeez, look how white that is. But yeah, now most of the time these bags come on the figure, so I hope I can figure out how to put it around her because there's actually two straps, one that goes under her left arm and one that goes over her, I don't know, left shoulder down to her right. I don't know, I'll figure it out in a minute. Down here, you can see she also came with some extra wrist pegs and some uh, ankle pegs. Up here, you've, you've got her uh, skull boom, and this one's all in red and black. And she also came with a fist, and that is very cool. So she can say, Cherry Power! And that is awesome. So yeah, this figure looks very, very cool indeed. And I say we waste no more time and look at her up close. What do you say? So, here we go with a super duper close up look and starting with her dress and I love this red plaid material here. That looks so cool. It almost looks like she's a Scottish schoolgirl or something. Working our way up to her neck. Now, I have to say I'm not very fond of these 3A necks on the female characters because they're so tall and you want to like, you know, move their head down a little bit so they can look down. But yeah, you don't really get that articulation very well right here at the neck. It's almost like they're too rubbery or something. I don't know, but I'm not very fond of it. Up here, you've got her little mouth, and she looks so cute. Look at that. you got her teardrop running down her Egyptian eye, and that is awesome. And, yeah, this face looks so clean because she's got no weathering or anything. That looks so good. You can see she's got a little barrette in her hair right there, another thing that she has in common with Peppermint Grove. And her hair is parted over her eye, although at this angle, you should be able to see her eye. But that's okay, because it doesn't look bad in person. Now, as you can see, she's got this bright red hair right here, and it looks so cool. And I love these little parts right here that come down at the front. That is awesome. Now, turning her to the side to get a better view of her profile, you can see she's all hair right here, and she's got this little twig of hair right there. You can see her little nose and her mouth, and that is awesome. Very gorillas, I will say that. That looks like noodle. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I love this little uh, Snoopy ear hair hanging down on the, front of, on the sides of her hair. And then back here, there's not a whole lot. It's just a curve of hair. Now, working our way down her neck, which I said you can't really get much articulation out of, but that's okay. You got her little shoulder, which looks like it could be moved up a little bit more. I just don't have mine adjusted, right? Got her skinny little arms right here. Now, this body is the exact same body that's underneath Peppermint Grove's jacket. And then down here, you've got her gloved hands, and that looks awesome. I do wish she would have came with some non-gloved hands, but these gloves look so cool on her, I'm not going to complain. Now, turning the hand a little bit to get a better view of it here, and that looks very cool indeed. Now, looking at her from the right, I love how shiny silver that barrette is. That looks so cool. You got the little blue eye right there, and working our way. And, oh, look at that. I like the little lines that are notched into her hair right there. That's very cool. I didn't see that before. And then you got her dress there, her arm, and then working our way down, she has another glove over here. Now, one of the hands, I believe it's this hand, the right hand, actually comes with a fist too, and that is cool. Now, working our way down to the front of her dress slash skirt or whatever, as you can see, there's her thighs. And if you pull up her skirt, you will find that she's actually wearing little black underwear, so that's good. <laughs> At least she's wearing something under there. Now, pulling her dress back down and working our way down her leg here, you can see the articulation at the knee and these really awesome little knee-high socks. That is so cool indeed. They're almost made of like of a spandex material or something. Now, you can't see the articulation joint there at the ankle, but that's okay. These little shoes are so awesome. They're like little sandals. And you can make out her toes inside of the socks. That is so cool. And I absolutely like two things about these shoes. Look at the inside there. It actually looks like it would be made out of like leather or some sort of like cushioning or whatever. It's a different color. And I love these little white stitches. And that is so cool. She's got little buckles right there. That is so amazing. Yeah, I think that that inner sole thing of the shoe, that just really makes it look like a shoe. That is cool. Now, turning her around, the back of her head just looks like a big, like, circle or an orange or something. Down here, you've got the texture of her body, and that is very cool. You've got her dress itself. As you can see, no zipper or anything, so you, it's pretty much form-fitted to her body. So I can't imagine trying to get this thing off. And then down here, you got the back of her legs, and then the tube socks again. And they look so cool. I do wish they had more stripes, but that's all right. 
That is very cool indeed. And then here's her other shoe. Very awesome. As for her accessories, here's her skull boom, and this is very cool indeed. I love this red and black color. It looks so good, and look at all that detail work there on the skull. Man, that looks so awesome. Looking at the skull from the side, you can see his teeth there, and they would look so cool painted in white. Man, this looks so neat indeed. Yeah, I love it. Now, speaking of white, holy cow, this bag is awesome, but man, it is super clean, and I can't imagine it staying this white forever. This looks so good, and like I said, it's the cleanest 3A Adventure Cartel piece that I own. This is so awesome. And besides foot pegs and wrist pegs, she also came with this little fisted hand, and that looks very cool indeed. So I guess if Tommy Mission starts flirting with Peppermint Grove a little too much, she can use this on him. Right in the face. Now, in case you're curious, here's how she stacks alongside of Little Shadow. Now, I have Little Shadow Shadow Mode, and as you can see, you need to take two things into consideration. One, Cherry Bomb is on a stand, but it doesn't raise her up very high. And Little Shadow actually has on her Converse shoes and not her high heels. Now, I'm pretty sure the high heels would raise her up a little bit. But yeah, when I got Little Shadow, I was shocked by how big she was compared to the guys, because I hoped I would get a smaller version of Little Shadow. But when you look at this, uh, apparently when the girls first came out, they were a lot bigger, uh, because that Little Shadow is actually a very big figure compared to the guys. She is, like, way taller than the guy figures, and, uh, yeah. So check out Cherry Bomb. She's huge. Now, she did succeed in making me feel like I got the uh, little shadow I wanted because I wanted the shorter version of her, but this is still the 12-inch version and not the 10 and a half, I think it is. But yeah, the little shadow's legs are definitely not as long as uh, Cherry Bomb's, as you can see, especially her lower legs or whatever. When you stand the figures alongside, you can see how much shorter they are. So that's very cool because, yeah, they are definitely two different body types. I assumed these two figures would be identical, but nope. They sure aren't. And the size thing really does get ridiculous when you compare them to a male figure. This is my custom Tommy mission, and yeah, uh, he's not very big compared to her, is he? And you know what, Tommy, look, if you're thinking about looking at uh, Peppermint Grove again, you might want to reconsider, because these two girls might beat you up. Now, I know it can be a little hard to tell, but actually Little Shadow is just a hair bigger than uh, Tommy mission, and like I said, if I would have put her heels on... Yeah, she'd be way bigger than him. But you know what? These two don't look so bad together now that I see how big old gargantua woman over here is. Holy crap, man. Cherry Bomb, you are huge. But yep, it's all those legs, I'm assuming. That is awesome. So, after months of waiting, was she worth the wait? Absolutely. Now, I did not expect her to be this big. I'll say that for one thing, but uh, yeah, I just assumed she'd be just as big as my little shadow. I thought they shared the exact same bodies, but apparently, nope, this is one of the larger Amazon bodies or something. This is cool, and I absolutely love her. So, there's my review of the 3A, or should I say 3AA, because this was an exclusive 1-6 scale adventure cartel, Cherry Bomb! And man, oh man, does she look awesome. Like I said, I've had this figure sitting around here for a few months just waiting for me to open it, and you know what? I am not disappointed. She looks so cool. And I can't wait to display her with the rest of my adventure cartel gang. So, until next time, tune in for more... Foo! Reviews! <laughs>